this has got to be a world record. Look at this dude right here. Meatloaf is pooping again. And uh, this is his third time, because he just pooped here a second time. Look how freaking, watch out Bricky, you're gonna step into it. Look how huge those things are. That looks like it's at least a pound. And earlier in the parking lot, um, I think he couldn't hold anymore, poor Meatloaf. He was walking and he started pooping in the middle of the parking lot. Gio went to get plastic bags to clean up the parking lot. But this has got to be a Guinness World Book of Dog Records because he pooped a big ass pile. It looked like the size of a Chipotle burrito. And in here, we got a bag of jumbo marshmallows. And then here, we got another bag of small marshmallows. Look how big it is. The dookie is like, it's the size of her feet. Holy shit, there's like 20 Fonz feet in there. Meatloaf, you are a shitting champion. You are truly my son. I am so proud of you. So Kyle is yes, putting on my love microphone right now. And this is how up close and personal the sound person has to get to the cast and they're putting it on. And usually when you uh, have a working relationship, it's pretty normal. It is, yeah. But when it's like two strangers and then sometimes it's like this, it's really weird. <laughs> have you ever like had to put a microphone on someone and then they were like, Super smelly or something? Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, I think uh, one time I had to put a mic on a guy who was very hairy. And oh. so, like, it, it hurt. Like, I, I checked with him, make sure it was okay. But, yeah, putting it on him and then taking it off, obviously it ripped a lot of his hair out. Ooh. But it, it also made him smell really bad. So the mic and everything afterwards smelled just as bad as it did. Have you ever taped someone so hairy where um, you're like, hey, um... Sir, is it okay if you just shave your chest? Just you I, did? I didn't ask him, but he did it himself. Oh, okay, because he yeah. just he could he put two and two together. Yeah, exactly. He was like, "Oh, this is gonna happen like more consistently, and it's gonna happen often." Let me just shave my chest. So he, sh so he shaved it. I thought it was pretty funny. Can you tuck this in the back for me? Yeah, right in the butt. Yep. What? what? Uh, I'm right on my right side. I right like, side? Yeah, I like okay. doing it on my right side. Gotcha. Oh. Have you ever um? Have you ever had to put it on like a super hot girl that's like wearing very little and then you're like in your heart you're like I wish I could squeeze them right now but this is a professional environment Exactly yeah <laughs> Exactly I, I always I always feel bad because it's like I have to maintain professionalism and not be creepy Yeah so be, not being creepy is like the like it's easy easy for me you know just be yeah. just be myself be professional but at the same time I'm underneath I'm like Wow, you're really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's that's one of the difficulties I would face if I was a sound guy or if I was a photographer taking pictures of hot girls. I'd be like, um, I'm going to try to stay professional, but this is very difficult to do. <laughs> it is really hot in here. What's going on? Let me look at the temperature. Maybe someone forgot to turn on the AC. Oh my god, they did forget to turn on the AC. It's so hot and you gotta turn it on. See, that's the problem with working with amateurs. Every time you work with an the amateur, they don't turn the AC on. It gets really hot, everybody gets sweaty, and everybody's makeup falls down, and the shirt gets all wet. So, good thing I turn on the AC, because I feel actually cool and inhabitable in here. Good then. It's 73 degrees, you know how hot that is? We need to set it at 71. If it's at 71, there's normal human temperature. It's 73, everybody's gonna have a fever. What's wrong with you? I didn't have time to like, oh shit, like, you know, you, you. Okay. So, you, go ahead. <laughs> Holy <hell>. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, can you do that? My God. Can you do that one more time? <laughs> one more time? He's gonna lose his voice, Cam. <laughs> What the hell? Where's the levels at? Where can I see where the levels at? Like yeah. right, right there? Right okay. There. Yeah. Go ahead. Josh, can you do it one more time? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go, Josh. Wait, oh. All right. <laughs> you, <watch the> fire. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it didn't seem that loud on the meter. Is it because you you already leveled them a little bit? Yeah. Oh, but it's it's really loud though. Damn. 
Is that your rape scream? Like if you were to get raped, that's how you call for help? Uh, no. You gotta go a little loud. How would you call for help if you're getting raped? Huh? How would you call for help if you're getting raped? Oh, no, please <laughs> That sounds like you're enjoying it. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Don't put it in my butt. Oh, it's getting in there. Oh, no. I see it. Like, I'll sweat. Oh, cool. Christmas tree. Nice. Nice. Who else are you testing next? Yeah. I, I'll, I'll do Josh if you want to test other people. Well, no. can you? I just need to know if it peaks. So we'll do it again then. Yeah, like have them scream and then I'll Oh, this is so cool. Go ahead and scream. Can you talk to me about your day, Bart? Yes. Why are you going to test my audio? Yes. This morning, I woke up and it felt really nice. So I decided to brush my teeth in bed and then I sang a couple of songs and then we were dancing and then Meatloaf pooped all over the place. Is that loud enough? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Why? What are you doing down there? Oh, there's shoes too. Yeah. Dad, our shoes. <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> Why are you in the Christmas tree now? Oh, is that underwear? Oh no no, it's uh, I thought it was golden underwear that goes with the outfit. That's dope. Oh my goodness, that's what I want to be for Halloween, a Christmas tree. That's fucking awesome. It's nice and warm. All right, so we have what we call the ornament challenge, right? No stop hands it, decoration. stop it. You no hands no decoration words. challenge. Oh, okay. Right, so hence the name, no hands decoration challenge. We have our Christmas trees. This is the starting line. Christmas trees will be at the very end of the, uh, the set over there by the uh, fence. And each team of twos will come up and do the whole bobbing, kissing thing, majiggy. And then you're going to take this ornament all the way over to the other side, and you'll see these hooks on them. Uh, strategically placed for awkward interactions when once you place. I see that. Little things, yeah. So let me um, guess: is it the guys on the guy and a girl on a girl? Guys on guy, girls on girl. Yeah, Perfect. Exactly. So it's a threesome all the way through the whole day. Do you want me to lift oh, the tree I up? See. All right. That's why I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smiley face too. There's eyes and a smiley face. Awesome. So, and then this game is going to highlight everyone's uh, teamwork uh, in your specific pairs, and also the uh, innuendos that come with uh, the placement of the ornaments oh on the tree. God. All right. Yeah. So that's the focus. That's so um, and that's about it. It's a pretty straightforward game. <laughs> These uh, are the cutest Christmas trees I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get the Christmas trees, the husband and wife Christmas trees, to hug and kiss? Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> oh, tree sex. Uh, tree sex. Uh, oh. Oh. It's okay to have trees have sex. Yeah, it's yeah. trees. Yeah, it's just trees. It's just nature. Tree <laughs> song. Tree <laughs> Lunch time. What do we get? Ooh, Thai food. This is this really? Is this part really Thai though? This part isn't, but it looks like a, like Chinese. It looks like orange chicken, but we've had it from here before, and it's. Bomb. I don't know what they do, but it's so good. Pineapple fried rice. What is that called? Is that called latna? The uh, white noodles? Uh, this one's pad thai, right? No, that one's pad thai. I think this one's latna or something. That's you. I'm not a hunch. That's pad you. That's pad you? Oh, pad you? Ooh, curry chicken. I love Thai food. Do you love Thai food, Mom? I do more than Chinese food. That's for damn sure. What? Why do you hate Chinese people? Why do you hate Chinese you people? So. What do they ever do to you? <laughs> Rocks that represent. What am I representing? <laughs> Yo, peace. Thai food, my people. Yeah. Wait, how come? How come uh, uh, you don't like? I don't know. I feel like these have like more safer flavors that I can like I gotta get that enjoy. One yeah. On. With the other one. Thai has a lot of crazy spices too, it's though. It's spicy. Uh, it's not crazy spices, or at least they're spices my brain can register. Oh, uh, or maybe it's the combination of flavors. Yeah, I guess so. Because sometimes Chinese food, it's like when you put it in your mouth, it is like one above. side, it's like bing, and the other side, like bang, bing, bang, bang, bang. It's just like this bouncing thing in your fucking mouth. That even sounded Chinese. It, it is. It's a. Uh, it's uh, That's how you say I love you in uh, the Sichuan province. province? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Can right, you, go. Oh, hell yeah, is that one mine? I like a lot of that. Yeah, I know. Can you also hook me up with a lot of the curry? The curry? The curry. I love curry. I like all yeah, kinds of curry. Same. I like Japanese curry. I like curry. Indian curry, Thai curry, Vietnamese curry. What other curry? I like Irish curry. I like Indian curry. Irish curry? What is that like? You never had Irish yeah. curry? It's good. <laughs> Oh, I thought yeah. he made that good. It's like loaded with just beer. Oh, you never had uh, Irish curry before? No, what is that like? It's, uh, so I went to this Irish bar, and you know how like um, the British, they, they uh, kind of ruled India for a while? Yes. So there's a lot of stuff that got brought to Britain and then Ireland and all that stuff, like all in that UK region. Yeah. Right. And uh, I, I ate this Irish dish, and it was French fries and curry. It was delicious. French fries and curry? Yep. That is confusing, but yeah. Oh, I hell yeah. I think potatoes is definitely an Irish thing. Give me that thing. potato and potato. the rice. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes, sorry. baby. Yeah. I'm trying to give you a little bit of everything. Thank you. You should have seen me the first couple of days. I had two plates in my hand. One was yours, the other one was mine. And I was like... That's what you're doing now? No, no, no. It was literally in my hand. Oh, okay. This is not my hand right now. This is me cheating. Fine. Can you uh, give me at least like twice that amount of food? I'm going to destroy that easily. Uh, well, I'm trying to make sure everyone gets... Aren't we the last two people to eat? I have, I, I don't know. I think we are. Well, if you want to eat more, you can come back. No, 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 I don't like leaving Look, you once see, I you eat. Didn't even get any. No, no, fine. Give me the stuff that we have a lot of. Like, we have a lot of this. I'm down for that. So, you, so yeah, I'm running out of space. Do you want me to prioritize something that's already on here and give you more and then mount it on top? Oh, this is what, what I'll do. do. Uh, is this my plate? Yes, that's your plate. Okay, I'll just take care of myself. Oh. I'll grab, even I'll grab the rice, put it right here, and then I'll grab, uh, I'll grab oh, the... Oh, shit! I wash my hands. I okay, believe this you. Put this right here. Boom, done. See, now that looks like a full plate compared to that one. Well, yeah, because I had two more dishes to put on there. All right. Thank you, my bear. You're welcome. I just finished lunch, so uh, we're about to start our second filming session, and usually that's when the food coma kicks in, and I get tired, and I need my energy back up, because we got to finish the day strong. So I'm getting my little booster, my little black coffee. Probably grab one of these donuts right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you doing over here? Learning the language of your land. Really? Mandarin? Yeah, I'm trying to learn Mandarin. How come we're trying to learn Mandarin? Um, because it's the language of the future. Is it? That's what I hear. I don't know, like the top three languages, um, it's... English, Spanish, and Mandarin, so yeah. I got two down. I think I if you know English, Spanish, and Mandarin, you could probably get around the entire world. Yeah, I'm but, just missing one more language. And, and that's the to, hardest one. <laughs> I know, and I, I, I originally wanted to learn Cantonese yeah. first because that's Casey's language, right? Like, yeah. his family, I want to be able to connect with them because like, you connect with people through language. Through English, yeah. So, um, yeah, like when I went to Hong Kong, I was like, man, I really wish I was able to like communicate with them. But, I mean, that was, like, we were just starting dates, so it was just too hard. But, um, but yeah, and then I told his family too, I'm like, you know, I really want to learn Cantonese if, if I want to communicate with you guys, you know, if I intend to be a part of this family, so. Does his dad speak Mandarin? A lot of so, Cantonese speakers actually speak Mandarin. Yeah, so that's actually what they told me. When I was in Hong Kong, they were like, don't waste your time learning Cantonese. It's a dead language or it's a dying language. Yeah. Um, because they want like all of China to only speak Mandarin. So then they were telling me, just learn Mandarin and we'll be able to communicate regardless because they know Mandarin as well. So I'm like, okay. And then throughout these years, I've just been putting it in the back burner. But then now I found this new app and it, I say it's like a different... So instead of like just learning like repetition, like how kind of like the way Duolingo does it, it's yeah. just kind of like just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, and that's how you get to learn it. This other app, um, they, they make you think in that language. Oh. So I've, I've just been sitting here for the past like hour, I think. And, and you I, already, already mastered the language. <laughs> no, I didn't master it, but I think I've gotten pretty good. I mean, just for like one hour of studying. That's pretty sick. Yeah, because yeah, I think like kind of like, you know, you don't really know something until you could teach someone. Mm -hmm. So it really helps out if you're able to think in that language or say it in your own words. Yeah. So that's really cool. I'm down to practice with you. Yeah. Because my, my Mandarin is getting more and more shitty because I have no one to practice with. Oh, my mom. No. Well, yeah, so you got you got to convince her to do it. My mm -hmm. mom's not here and my mom's usually the only person that um, I can practice Mandarin with. And my dad is here, but my dad's Mandarin is worse than mine. Because he speaks Cantonese, so he speaks Mandarin with a really funny sounding accent. Uh, 
And then after talking to him for a long time, I start to develop his accent. <laughs> when my Mandarin was actually really good, like the, it was very uh, standard sounding before. Oh yeah, we gotta practice. Yeah. We'll give Gio this, this name of the app. We're gonna practice together. Awesome. <laughs> Every time we're about to leave, he always runs up and gets food. Watch, he'll hear the leash, gets hella excited, <laughs> runs back to get the food. That's so funny. <laughs> he looks back at the leash. Do you think that's funny, Mom Bear? He's hilarious. He gets so excited and he's like, oh shit, what else makes you excited? Food! I don't know what the thought process is. He does this at home too. As soon as we're about to leave, he gets hella excited and he goes and eats food. Come on. No wonder you're so fat. Me loaf, no wonder you're so fat. How come no one else does that? Okay, he runs back. Oh, and he's not ready, so he gets food again. Me love, you big freaking cutie. Did he leave a crumb on Fawn's head? <laughs> Fawn, you need to do this. Look how skinny you are. You need to eat more. Me loaf eats too sit, much. Sit, sit. Come here. Look sit. how skinny you there you go, Fawn. Yeah. Gain some weight. You need to start bulking. Me loaf, you you keep being you, you're cute. And you make me and your mom very, very happy. Oh, they're hungry. You think Should he's cuny? I think he's adorable. Well, we got food at home. Look at it. Hey! We got the same exact food at home. No, this is a cheaper grade. Really? Yes. This is like something I got at the supermarket. The other one is like... The good high, stuff. High. Yeah, it's like a bag like this is like 30 something, almost 40 Oh, it's bucks. the blue one, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the good stuff. All right, well, it's time to go home. We're really tired. We've been here all day, okay, kids? It's time to go home. Yeah, look at I see it right here. Really? Dark circles. When you start I'll getting tired, asleep. I see it. I think I'll fall asleep I think right I now. have it too. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, look, look right there. Oh. I get those a lot. Oh, my eyes are so pretty. They are. I love your eyes. You promise? You bikini? That's supposed to be a joke. Come on, I think they're cute. I think they're cute.